G1, first official drill of the flow. We're gonna start in half guard, where my partner has a lockdown, an overhook, and an underhook. For tutorial, all I'm gonna practice is a foot pummel and my staples, okay? My partner's doing an underhook, he's not controlling his leg very well. So I'm able to bring my knee high, and then I can wrap my foot over top of his thigh. For tutorial, that's all you need to do. Level one, I'm gonna put palm safety, elevate my hips, and slice to the inside. My partner is gonna catch my foot right here. I'm gonna use my free foot and stomp on that top leg to get my bottom one free. Get to regular side control. From regular side, I'm gonna bring my knee across, nice and tight, and slice all the way to the floor. And that's it for level one. Level two, my partner's gonna oop off sweep me right here. We're in full guard. I'm gonna start with this reverse arm drag, cross collar tie, open the hips, swivel, break that posture with the top leg, and finish that first arm bar. I call these speed arm bars. They're not really clinch based, but you can really catch someone off guard. This one is more clinch based, where we do it off the collar tie. We compress the elbow into the head and push the head with our collar tie hand. We're gonna swivel like the speed arm bar, but I'm gonna look to hook over the shoulder. That's really the key. Call us the shoulder trap. Lock our feet here, leg curl strong. At this point, he's gonna already see the arm bar coming. He's gonna get his defense together and I'm racing to find my deep hook. Once I have that deep hook, I'm looking to get under this leg, open and shot foot right into my balloon to break. Open, pull, close, slide up, and finish. So one. We got hip arm. Foot pummel, head position switch, take out that underhook. No hand pass, kick free, CBD mount, into double unders. Okay, now level two from double unders, we're gonna hit a flying ass mount, there's a new one. So we're gonna jump up, we're gonna slide up. The priority is getting our knee elevated to get our deep hook on, okay? So I'm gonna push up. You can go slow, you don't have to do it all crazy like the chest. You could just do it inch by inch when you're first learning. Knee, and then foot. So we we'll get our S mount, and then I wanna add finding our deep hook and leaning forward. Okay. After the flying S mount, we're gonna come back to double unders. From here, he's gonna jaws the life. He's gonna do a little bridge and get his arms back inside. He's gonna do a Hail Mary escape, bump me up, bring his feet into play. Knock me over, overhook, inside position. Overhook my secondary leg, stomp, straight ankle lock, and then the carry again. Okay, for G3, furthering down the path of the G1 for tutorial. Uh, we're starting from the same as before. Free stop. Uh, no, underhook still. Tutorial, we just keep the over underhook the whole time. Until the next one, then we practice the down. So, we're gonna do what we did before. Foot pump, staple. Elevate, knee slice to the inside. This time, I'm gonna use my foot, my outside leg, my free leg, and I gotta get my captured leg free. I want both of my legs to be free. He's got one of them. I'm gonna use my foot, a stomp on the top knee, push it off, and then bring your legs back to your partner's body. Your knee, by your elbow, and your other knee at your partner's leg. Keeping your chest up. Okay, last part for tutorial is 
now you're gonna knee slice. You're gonna bring that knee on top of the hip. Just like I said earlier, don't take a big step right here. If you step over, you will get put in uh, half guard. So make sure you bring your knee on top first. So we knee slice into the mount, and then we wanna do what's called an under jack, where we bring our hand out and we start finger walking all the way around the caterpillar. Grabbing the mat, walking it, grabbing the mat, walking it, forcing our partner's arm up. It might take a long time in a real scenario. So go slow. And then we're gonna pause right here with the chain on top of our partner's forearm and a little foam over. Level one. From Z Guard. We're here, he's got his knee shield on. I'm gonna go for the toe hold. Right away, he's gonna extend. He doesn't want me to grab that foot for the toe hold. And I'm gonna drop my hip and get to my twister pass. There's a few different ways you can unhook the feet, but my preferred way is to take my top arm, hook the toes, bend the foot, and then pull the bottom one over top. Sometimes you can get all the way through, sometimes not, but we want to hug this leg right here and then fold these toes into his butt. That way we can use our other hand to open and kick over our arm. If I don't do that, he, he's just gonna stay hooking my leg right here. I have to open the leg with my arm and then kick over it. From here, I want you to practice hip jacking, as we call it. Sliding our hip down and forcing our partner's arm to his head with our butt. Okay. Level two, we're gonna do a tiptoe mount where right, I grab my foot, place it over his hip, and then extend. As I do this, this arm is helping my under jack. I want to under jack as I'm T-passing. This top arm, I'm waving it around using my tricep and my chest. And then I'm gonna change to a regular under jack. Then he's gonna bridge, get his arm back. Regular Alcatraz into a lockdown. Electric underhooks. I'm gonna shoot my overhook, get my Japanese necktie grip, foot pummel, but still hook your partner's bottom leg. Head on the mat, drop the hip, and then finish with that. So, come back up, knee slice, drop the hip, shoot the darts, tap him there. He's gonna go Malibu beams. I'm gonna change the guillotine, and as I go guillotine, he rolls back underneath and spins away. So for tutorial, we've been doing just the overhook and the underhook. But now, this time, your partner is gonna get a little smarter and they're gonna start using what we call a pimp arm, keeping it straight, preventing us from no hand passing and slicing. Okay. So now we gotta address this right here. So I'm gonna start with the foot pummel just like before. That's always the most important. Knee safety. Then, head position. I'm looking to take my head all the way to the mat. And as my head goes down, I'm creeping this hand under my partner. And that's gonna take his hand off my knee. Okay, so really looking at three things at one time. The foot pummel, the head position, and the under hook. Head on the mat. Staple. Inside knee slice. And then just like before, we're not gonna add the CBD mount. We're just gonna kick our leg free and get to regular side. If you want, you can Slice the mount and double under jacket. Level one. I'm doing the buttock compressor. So I'm gonna start with my wrist dump. I've tried other pummeling tactics, these slices, stapling, didn't work. So now I have to change strategy to single low, looking at double leg. So I'm gonna frame the throw and slide down. My head stays on the same side as it was up here. I'm just sliding my chest as low as I can. Wrapping around my partner's legs. I like to add this foot pummel first before I sprawl. Break the grip. Back step. Hip tie. Weight in your partner. Seat grip the knee so you can push them both down. Knee slice in between. Or what we call the leg drag. When you slice up the leg drag, make sure you don't leave this here too long. This Kimura is really legit. Either double under right here, or go to a head and arm. Okay, but just don't leave this hanging. Two 
too easy to get from one. Couple two. We're gonna change from leg drag to dope mount. Let's turn this up. It's a little confusing at first, but you're just gonna switch your knees. So I have this knee going in, in between stapling. I'm gonna change to this one. And staple the top leg instead of the bottom leg. Then I cut my knee in, and then pull mount. It's a really secure way. From there, your partner's turn is gonna get reverse out the tracks. That clinch, elevate to cocoon. Full guard. Don't get control. And then the inverted arm bar. 